Okay, let's go through uh, the first part of the measurement. We're going to take this cell. Let's see if you can get, write down the number for your notebook. And we want to get the, the raw voltage, V naught, out of it when there's no other resistance in here. So um, I'm going to take a wire here and we'll connect it to this. This thing's called a spade lug. And it connects onto the wire and then it goes underneath this. Uh, terminal here, and then I'll take the other spade lug in the kit and put it here. Now I think positive is, is the center on this battery. Some of them are backwards and some of them are marked. This one isn't. And we want to control it, so we'll connect it to the switch. And the switch doesn't do any change in polarity. It's still positive. And let's see. So that's a complete circuit. And if I close the switch, oh yeah, it goes to 1.123, I'll call it 1. Can we zoom in on that? Or do we need to take a, a picture? We'll call that V naught. Okay, now we want to add more resistance in parallel. And it's actually really easy to do because the decade box is back there. I'm going to make sure the decade box has a high resistance. In fact, I'm going to put it to 9999. You don't want it to be zero or that's a short circuit. So it's at 99. Actually, 999. Zero point, uh, point zero because we're not going to use tenths. So I'll connect one side of this wire to one side of the battery, or one side of the meter, and the other side here. It's it's in, actually in parallel with this. And now that's a very high resistance. And so when I close the switch, we should get the same reading, more or less. One point two nine two eight. And now I'll lower the resistance to 8999. You're talking to yourself. No, I'm talking on the video. You want to be on the video? 